I've been wanting to make a follow-up video on Sharif Cooper for a while now, but I didn't want it to be a typical strength and weakness video. Since my last video on Sharif, he's really improved overall as a basketball player, especially on offense. He's currently lighting up the EYBL, averaging 25 points per game, shooting 44% from the field and 33% from the three-point line. There's a lot to love about Sharif's game, but there's one aspect of his game that's extremely impressive, which leads me to the main focal point of this video. It's been a long time since I've seen a guard with his stature finish so well around the rim. It's really amazing to watch. He only stands at about 5'11", maybe 6 foot, but the way he attacks the rim and finishes at the cup, you would think he's 6'3 or 6'4". In this video, I'll be analyzing Sharif's finishing ability, showing you the little things he does to convert in the paint, while also comparing him to another undersized point guard who's found a way to be a solid finisher in the NBA. Sharif does a great job of initiating contact with his man after the blow-by and then using the defender as a shield when he's going up to finish. Doing this makes it really difficult for the defender to contest Sharif's shot effectively. Let's look at a few examples. Sharif sizes up his man in a corner in a triple threat stance. He hits him with a quick jab step and gets the first step going left. Now here's where Sharif initiates the contact. On the blow by, he either puts his shoulder into his man to get in a position, but sometimes he gets away with the hook like in this clip. The reason why Sharif initiates contact before he attempts a layup is because doing so gets him in the perfect position to score. Right here, the defender has two options. Keep your hand straight up, which gives Sharif an easy layup, or attempt to block his shot, which would require him to reach across Sharif's entire body to get a piece of the ball. But the way Sharif positioned himself forced his man to miss the ball and swipe down at his body, which led to an and one finish. Here's another clip of Sharif going baseline. He gets the first step by his man, and right here you can see Sharif initiating contact with his left shoulder to get in position in front of his defender. Once again, his defender has to decide to contest with his hand straight up or swipe at the ball taking the risk of hitting his arm. He decides to keep his hand straight up to hopefully alter the shot, but Sharif is too good of a finisher to be affected by this. Another player who is great at this is NBA All-Star Kemba Walker, who I'll be comparing Sharif to throughout this video. Here we see Kemba blow by 7-footer and Defensive Player of the Year Rudy Gobert. Right before he takes off, he initiates contact at Rudy's midsection, forcing him to keep his hands up or swat across Kemba's body to block his shot. He keeps his hands up, but Kemba sells the foul well and makes the easy finish. This is a skill that every undersized guard should have in their arsenal, especially if you're not very explosive vertically. Learn how to use your body to draw contact and make it difficult for bigger guys to challenge your shot. Sharif is also great at deceiving the defense by not telegraphing his finishes. This is huge for small guards with average athleticism. If you give away too early that you're trying to finish at the hoop, it makes it really easy for bigger and longer defenders to anticipate and time your shot so they can reject you at the rim. Here's Sharif doing a hesitation blow by going left. If you pay attention, Sharif doesn't even look towards the goal at all until he's directly under the rim. If you look here, the help defender is in an awkward stance because he didn't know if Sharif was going to continue to drive baseline or go up for a layup. Kemba Walker is a master at getting all the way in the paint and shooting straight up for a quick layup. It's a very smart move to do if you want to get a quick bucket amongst the trees. It throws the defender off for a split second which is about the time you need to sneak a quick layup before getting blocked. This move takes an incredible amount of body control and poise to pull off consistently, but Sharif makes it look effortless. More than anything, what makes Sharif such a great finisher is his ability to finish with both hands. You can make an argument that he finishes better with his left than his right. That's how much he utilizes his left hand when he's finishing at the rim. His ability to use either hand is a big reason why it's so difficult for defenders to stop him from scoring. You may think you're contesting his shot well or have a chance of blocking his shot, but just that quick he switches to his other hand and finishes. Despite not being a super explosive athlete, Sharif is great at adjusting his body in midair to get around the arms of opposing players and finishing at the cup. He just has a natural touch around the rim that most players don't have, especially at his size. But learning how to finish with both hands is something everyone can learn. Sure, there are players who are naturally ambidextrous, but 
If you're putting in enough work with your non-dominant hand, there's no reason why it shouldn't translate to a real game. Well, hopefully this was a helpful video for all those watching. My goal for this video was to show you guys how Sharif is able to finish so well around the rim, and I hope this video is helpful for smaller guards who may have trouble finishing amongst the trees. Even if you're a good finisher, you can still add these moves to your arsenal. It'll only make you harder to stop while also making the game easier for you. As for Sharif, I will most definitely be keeping a close eye throughout his basketball career. A part two play breakdown will probably come out sometime during his senior year. But right now, I wanna thank you guys for all the love and support, I really appreciate it. Please like and share the video and there's a lot more good content in the works, so stay tuned.